You should obtain advice from your doctor or medical professional before participating in any activities offered by Chronically Awesome. Never rely on our content in place of seeking professional medical advice. By using this video, you agree that you are voluntarily using or acting upon our content. You also agree that, say, where Chronically Awesome is at fault, your use of or acting upon the content is at your own risk, including, but not limited to, all risk to yourself of harm, injury or illness, and in particular, any harm, injury or illness resulting from overexertion or exacerbation of any medical conditions caused by the use of the content. Always remember that if you experience pain while using or acting upon our content, stop and consult your doctor or medical professional. Always warm up before a class and warm down after. You do not need to complete an entire class. You can always start with a short section and build up to completing a full class over time. Pace yourself and listen to your body. Most of all, have fun. Exercise should be empowering and make you feel good. If it's not fun, try a different style of class until you find something you enjoy. So I'm going to take you through a little standing Pilates session today. We're going to be challenging uh, a little bit of our balance. So if you need a chair for some support, uh, just make sure you have one today. Uh, we're also going to be doing a little bit of work in the spine, especially in flexion, uh, lateral flexion and a bit of rotation. But to start off with, let's just find our standing position, get that correct alignment in our body. So we want the feet to be about parallel and hip width apart. And really thinking about that connection with the feet, so the big toe, the little toe, and the center of the heel. We're lengthening up, we haven't locked those knees back, let them be soft. The arms are down by the side of the body. Shoulders are relaxed, we're looking forward. And just being mindful of those three body weights stacked on top of each other. So we've got the head on top of the rib cage, on top of the pelvis. So we don't want to be pigeon chasing, we don't want to be sticking the bum out, we just want everything to be nice and stacked, feeling length and energy in that spine. And we're going to just do some breath work just to get ourselves a little bit more relaxed, a bit more settled. So let's place our hands on our rib cage so you can have thumbs tucking round to the side. We're going to work on our lateral breathing. So let's take a nice breath in through the nose. Feeling that rib cage just start to widen and expand. And then as you exhale, through the mouth, start to feel it close in a little bit, a little bit. Good. So you can have your eyes closed for this. Let's just take a breath in. Feeling the air coming into the sides and into the back. Exhaling, release. Releasing all that carbon dioxide out of you to the point where you just start to feel those abdominals knit together. Good. One more breath. Breathing in. And releasing. Good. If your eyes are closed, just open them, allowing those arms to settle back down by the side of the body. Good. We're just going to come into some shoulder work now. So we're going to do something called floating arms. We're going to start with one and then we're going to do the double. So let's start with our left arm. Keeping it slightly in front of the body so we don't overextend the shoulder. Let's take a breath in as we reach that arm out to the side. Now be mindful that that shoulder is relaxed, we haven't drawn it up. And then we're just going to float it back down again. So breathing in and engaging that centre a little bit, keeping that spine in the nice alignment. Good. Breathing in. Exhaling. Breathing in. And exhaling. Let's just do one more to each side. Breathing in. Exhaling. Last one. Breathing in. Exhaling. Good. We're now going to do three sets of the double floating arms. So let's breathe in, reach, keeping our um, those arms in our vision, making sure we haven't uh, drawn those shoulders up. Let them relax down the back. And then exhaling. So we've got lovely length and energy through those arms but we're not overextending the elbows either. Good, one more. And coming back down again. Really good. Let's bring our feet a little bit wider now. So they're slightly wider than the hips. We've still got that nice connection with the big toe, little toe center of the heel. Engagement in the tummy, we're not collapsing in the spine. We're gonna come into our standing side reach. So starting with the left, let's take a breath in and reach that arm up to the side of the body. 
And then as we exhale, I want you to think head, neck, upper spine flexing over. So we're not moving the bottom half at all. Hold here, breathing in. And then exhaling, engaging that center, restacking and floating that arm down. Good, other side, breathing in. And then exhaling, thinking head, neck, upper spine, lateral flexion of the spine. Imagine you're between two pillars of glass, so we're not coming forward or back. Restacking and lowering. We've got two more to each side, so breathing in and exhaling. Let's hold here for a breath and exhaling back. Breathing in, shoulder down, head, neck, upper spine. Hold here, breathing in, keeping nice and long in either sides of the waist. Restacking and lowering. Let's just do one more to each side. Lovely flexion over. Hold here for a breath. And then exhaling, restacking. Last one. Making sure you're even. Breathing in. Head, neck, upper spine. Long in the waist. Breathing in here. And then exhaling, restacking. And drawing that hand back down. Good. Let's just roll those shoulders twice. So let's bring the feet back to being hip width. Nice connection, we haven't locked those knees back. And we've got those three body weights still nicely stacked. We're gonna do some sort of forward and backwards uh, movements with our arms. So nice, long and engaged fingers, maybe just give them a little bit of a spread, a little bit of a wiggle, and then settle them by the hips. Nice long fingers as we breathe in and reach those fingertips up to the ceiling, watching those ribs don't want to flare out. And then exhaling, lowering back down but we're gonna to continue to be pushing back so we're getting some stronger extension now. So breathing in and just being mindful, might only come up to here, especially if you're hypermobile. What we don't want is you to start losing it in the spine. So the spine is staying completely neutral and then exhale, pushing back. So breathing in and exhaling. Let's do two more. Again, squeezing, using those deep abdominals to keep our spine in a nice alignment. Last one. Pushing ourselves back and then just letting those shoulders relax, just rolling the shoulders twice. Really, really good. We're going to come into something called dumb waiter now, so really good for opening our chest out. So I want to, you to imagine that you're holding a tray in front of you. So we're gonna keep the elbows nicely connected into the side of the body. And as we take a breath in, we're gonna just open to the side. And then we're gonna bring it back. Just gonna continue going with a few of these. So breathing in. Breathing in. Still nice and long in the spine. We've still got that rib over hip connection. We haven't locked the knees back. We've still got an even base of support through the feet. Good. Let's shake from the thighs again. Getting that nice. So really nice to have that chest nice and open. Let's just do one more. and then you can just relax those arms down by the side of the body. We're gonna come into uh, some hip work now. So this is probably where you'll want the chair the most, especially if your balance is um, a bit off today. We all have our off days with balance. But first we're gonna just bring our feet um, so they're quite close together. So not uh, a little space between the ankles. And we're still really lengthening up through that spine, like we've got an imaginary bit of string coming out of the top of our head. So you've got your chair, you've got your wall if you need it. So we're gonna just start by shifting the weight over to the left, ever so slightly, keeping that pelvis nice and level. Okay, imagining it's that um, bucket of water, so we don't want anything to spill out of it. And then as we've shifted the weight slightly, we're gonna lift and peel our right heel up. 
And once you've established a good connection in the opposite leg, we're gonna lift it into a single knee fold. We're gonna hold here for a breath. And then exhaling, lowering it back down. Toes touch, lower the heel. And then we're gonna shift over. So we're gonna peel that heel, make sure we've got that establishment. We're still long in the waist, we haven't collapsed. We're then gonna lift that knee up. Nice 90 degree angle. Take a breath in and then lowering it back down with control. So I'll show you from the side. Go back to the uh, other leg. Take a breath in and then as we exhale, we're peeling, coming into that single knee fold. Maintain this position. Breathing in and lowering it. Good, other side. So we peel the heel, we lift, we hold. And then we lower. Let's just do one more to each side. If you've got the challenge there, if you don't want to um, use anything, but engaging, squeezing those abdominals, lower back down, shifting the weight over, lifting that heel first, single knee fold, hold here, breathing in. And then lowering it down. Good. We're going to add the challenge a little bit more. We're going to add some floating arms. So again, wall or chair is there for stability. So starting on the last leg we've just done, peel that heel off first, come into that single knee fold, find that balance, and then let's take a breath in, reach those arms up, exhaling lower, breathing in, exhaling lower. If you've got the chair, you can just do, you can just do one arm, like so. We're doing about three or four on that one side and then we're going to shift the weight over. So this time we're going to peel that other leg up. Again, you've got the option of just doing one arm with a chair or can you do both? So really challenging that stability, breathing in reach, exhaling, one more, breathing in. Lowering that foot down, just walking the feet out. So we're going to come into um, some rotation in that hip now. So it's quite good to place your hands on your hip bones, making a bit of a diamond shape. Feet together. We're going to take our, um, we're going to work on the, we'll start with the left leg. So just peeling that heel and drawing it towards your opposite ankle. So the heel is lifted. We've got that nice bucket um, of water, so we're trying not to, to tip it out. We're still long in the spine. Let's take a breath in to prepare, and as you exhale, I want you to open that knee, so we're getting a little bit of um, lateral rotation. And then close it. Opening it, and close it. Keep going. So three, four, again, chair's there. Five, Two more, seven, and eight. Back, lower the heel, walk the feet out. Let's go over to the other side. So we're bringing the toes to the ankle, lifting that heel. You can either have your hip hands on your hips, you've got your diamond shape for a bit of feedback. We're going for eight standing oysters. So one, two, three. Exhale as you open. Inhale, five, six, seven, last one, eight, good, good, and just walk those feet out. And we're gonna come into our Pilates stance now, so keeping the heels connected, we're gonna open those heels, um, the toes out, so we're fanning them. I don't want it to come from the knee, coming from the hips. So we're feeling those thighs wrap around, we're engaging our glutes, we're still long in the spine, the tailbone is coming downwards. Again, we can just have our hands on our hips or our hands in our diamond shape on our hips. We're gonna be bending the knees very, very carefully. So as we take a breath in, we're gonna just let those knees bend very softly, not a big movement, still keeping that tailbone grounded towards the floor. 
and then we're just going to straighten and as we straighten really feel that connection in the glutes giving them a little squeeze feeling it in the thighs as well so breathing in squeezing breathing in squeezing we're just going to keep going so that's four five another three Last one, squeezing and release. Arms down by the side of the body. We're gonna challenge our a bit, uh, standing balance a little bit more by lifting both heels up, keeping that lovely rotation, um, that turnout in the hips. So let's take a breath in and lift those heels, pressing down that big toe and exhale. So we lift, squeeze and exhale. Lift and squeeze, exhale. Four, five, three more, six, seven, last one, eight, lower down with control, should work the calves a little bit, let's just walk ourselves out a little bit, good. So we're going to come into um, some spinal rotation now. So we're going to come into our Cossack arms to start off with, so placing one arm on top of the other. And for starters, we don't want them up here. Relax those shoulders down. So sometimes we just naturally want to be shifting our shoulders all the way up towards the ears. Let that scapula just relax down the back of the ribs. So feet are parallel, hip width apart. Long in the spine, we've still got that rib to hip connection. So we're gonna just do some very gentle rotation in the spine, keeping that pelvis forward. So really, most of the time, we want our sort of spine and everything else to move with, with it. So let's keep that pelvis completely stable as we go head, neck, breastbone, gentle rotation. As you're coming, you almost, if we're going over to the left, you almost want to be pushing that left hip out a bit to maintain um, the neutral. And then let's bring ourselves back. Watch those arms don't creep up. They naturally always want to creep up. Other side, so thinking head, neck, breastbone. Pelvis facing forward. Just hold here for a breath. Then exhaling, coming from the center, unraveling. So it's a spiral effect. Other side, head, neck, upper spine. Breathing in. <sighs> unraveling, other side. So we exhale as we rotate. Don't move that pelvis. Hold here for a breath. Coming back. And then just lower those arms, roll the shoulders. We're gonna do one more spinal rotation, a slightly different one called bow and arrow. So let's bring those arms forward, palms facing each other. Again, relaxing those shoulders so we're not creeping up by the ear. We're going to start with the left hand. I want you to start to draw it, keeping your right forward and straight. I want you to start to bend your left elbow and draw the hand towards your breastbone. And as you do, you're starting to add a little bit of a rotation. So head, neck, breastbone. I'm now in my rotation. My pelvis is still facing forward. Once you're here, you're going to open that arm out, following it with your head, getting this lovely sense of openness and then drawing it all the way back to the start. So let's take a breath in. Other side, bringing that hand, bending the elbow, rotation. And then we're reaching, following it, the gaze. And then closing. So let's add the breath. Make sure those knees aren't locked. Let's take a breath in. And then exhaling open. Hold here for a breath. Swing that arm forward, other side, breathing in. And exhaling. Hold here for a breath. And exhaling. Good, and then just lower those arms down, just roll those shoulders twice, brilliant. So we're just going to go through a roll down now. Um, if you suffer from any sort of um, blood pressure 
uh, this exercise might not be for you, so um, I would skip this one out because we will be having our heads um, coming down towards the floor, which I know is not for everybody. I'm going to do two variations. I've got one against the wall and one freestanding. So we'll start with the one against the wall. We'll build it up, so we'll start with a half roll down and then we'll go into the full roll down. So this is very good for spinal flexion, really, really good. So if you've got a wall, try not to wear anything too grippy. Um, <laughs> and if you've got slippery floors, just be mindful if you're wearing socks, um, grippy socks or bare feet are, are better. But we're not too far away from the wall, so probably about your foot worth or so, a little bit less than your foot. Feet are still parallel and hip width apart, and we're really pressing down that big toe, little toe centre of the heel. We've got soft knees, and we're just allowing ourselves to naturally come into the wall. So we'll have all our natural uh, spine uh, bits uh, coming, and your, your head will probably uh, naturally be away, which is which is completely normal. Mine is right now. Just allowing those shoulders to relax down the backs of the body. And we're not pushing ourselves in, but we want a little connection of the back of the pelvis, very much like when we are on the mat. So we're going to start by tucking the chin gently. So as we tuck the chin, don't over flex that chin. We want about a fist width between the chin and the chest. And then we're going to carefully start to flex ourselves forward. So we're going through the center line, very gentle movement. Imagine you're going up and over a ball. Just let the arms hang and relax. We're gonna come about halfway, so before we get too much movement in the pelvis, we're just gonna allow ourselves to hang here. Just let that neck be free. Just let the shoulders be relaxed. Take a breath in here, and then as you exhale, we're gonna to start to tuck ourselves back up. So bringing your spine back into the wall. Great for a bit of feedback. With the head coming up last. So let's do that again, half roll down, breath in, breath out. So a tiny engagement in the tummy, but not so much that it hinders the movement. So just starting to flex ourselves over, just let the neck be free, the arms be free, just give them a little wiggle. Even weight through the feet, making sure those knees haven't locked back. And then let's take a breath out as we start to tuck ourselves all the way back up, bone by bone by bone, with the head coming up last. Now you can either continue just doing your half roll down. If you want to do the full roll down, I'm going to do it with you now. So let's take a breath in. As we exhale, let's tuck that chin and start to flex the spine forward. So the arms are hanging. And then once we go past, the hips will then start to move, allowing us to go even lower. Just let those arms hang, let that neck be long. Take a nice breath in here. And then exhaling, start to scoop the belly as you tuck yourself back up, getting the feedback from the wall, bone by bone by bone, with the head coming up last. Good. So now we are going to try it without a wall. Again, completely optional. So this is all down to how your body is and how you are feeling. But I will show you the standing, the freestanding roll down as well. So let's find that standing position. Nice and stacked body weights, head on top of the rib cage, on top of the pelvis. Even weight in the feet, so the knees aren't rolling in or rolling out, and the knees aren't locked back. We're going to take a breath in, and as we exhale, we're going to tuck that chin and start to flex that spine forward. So the weight's going to gently go over the arches of the feet, don't lift the heels. You can either come halfway, or if you want to, you can take yourself all the way down. Just let everything hang, let everything relax. Take a breath in here, and then exhaling, start to tuck yourself back up, pushing through those feet so the pelvis is coming forward, followed by the lower, the mid, the upper, and our head coming up last. Good, let's just do that one more time. Breath in, tucking the chin, breath out. So up and over a ball, so we're not just collapsing down. Slight weight in over the arches. Let that head, that neck be heavy. Just circle those arms, breath in, exhaling, pushing through the feet, coming back through the center line, restacking bone by bone by bone by bone. 
And then if you want to, just gently open that throat. Just get a tiny little back, bit of back extension, engaging that tummy. And then just relaxing yourself back down. Really, really well done. So we're just going to end on some nice shoulder rolls. And bring it forward. And then let's finish on some shrugs. So let's take a breath in, reaching those shoulders up. Exhaling down, breathing in. <sighs> Exhaling down, last one, breathing in. Then carefully placing those shoulders, um, shoulders down the back of the ribs. Finding your standing position, bringing your hands up to your breastbone, and you're done for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for um, doing some Pilates with me.